A quick demonstration of uh, using the, the geometry cleanup tools in the virtual topology for quad meshing as well. Take, take a look at this little surface right here and uh, we'll just set up some mesh, uh, mesh sizing right in this little area. We'll make it one. Uh, I'll turn the curves on. We'll take a quick look at that mesh sizing. And right now you can tell you know quad mesh would just uh, be a mess right down here in the corner because of that little surface. So let's look at some of the tools we can use to lay down a better one. Um, I'm going to use the composite curve tool. And basically you pick a point and Femap you know, adds, makes it a composite curve and it also had to combine the two connected surfaces. And we'll do the same thing up here. Th this curve split up so now we made him into one curve. So at this point we've got a nice uh, better shaped area to mesh. I'll just come in and lay down a, a mesh on here and we'll just use a plot only elements. Don't even want to create a property right now. But now you'll see it lays down. I'll turn off the surface so we can see it. it lays down a pretty good quad mesh. And then we could also play some games here with just uh, making sure it's a map mesh. So I'll, I'll check my mesh sizing and I'm going to update mesh sizing automatically. So down at this end I have uh, seven elements. This end I have four. So if I run him up to seven and match it on this side as well, there's 16, actually 15, and this guy's eight. So let me run him up to and you see some of the automatic map meshes uh, Femap's coming up with. If we run him up to 15, you'll see that now we get a nice map mesh all over. So we basically use some um, virtual geometry or topology to, to get a better shape to mesh on and then meshed. And we'll just check the quality and it looks like all the elements uh, are good as well. So it, it's a great way to, to, to take geometry and idealize it so you get a perfect shell mesh. Thank you.